All right, hello there again. I'm Sean T.D. Stewart, the homemaker. And I today I received, or actually yesterday I received, my Wham Bam flexible build system for my Anycubic Photon uh, SLA printer. And uh, I wanted to walk through the installation of this and give it a test run and see how well it works. I'm gonna open this up using my uh, 3D printed maker knife. came in this compact packaging, very low profile, I don't think there's anything else in here. And we got a, uh, what do we have here, a little baggy, oh, a little piece of sandpaper, nice, a sticker from the company, a thank you card, ooh, another sticker, I have to pull one of those somewhere, all right. I think I got the double wham kit. So included in this double wham kit, which costs a little bit more, but was a better value, you get a two flexible plates, a magnetic base, 400 piece grip sandpaper, and two stickers. Uh, the installation QR code is here, and there's also uh, mounting instructions here also. Awesome. So we'll go ahead and follow these instructions that we have here on the paper, and there's also a QR code with instructions on there as well. Here's the actual components. There we go, it's very nice. So we got this very nice uh, flexible plate. Ooh, a very strong magnetic pad here with this looks like an adhesive back. So we get this off. Yeah. There's the other plate. Yep, so I got two plates, a magnetic pad, which is really gonna be you known. That's branded, uh, the magnet's branded with their uh, logo. Probably you can't really see that. Let me get a little bit closer. So can you see that? Oh yeah, brand of their logo. And these little plates also are etched right there at the bottom. They're nice. So let's follow the instructions. Actually, first things first, I still have resin in my printer. So let's go ahead and uh, take care of that. Safety first. Got this metal strainer here so I can strain off the resin. That's much better. Turn down the film lights way down. Got some isopropyl alcohol here and some rags. So we're going to head and uh, open this up. Remove the reservoir. It's stuck. There we go. A little bit stuck. save as much as this is possible. Yeah, this needs to be changed anyways. It's already, this resin starting to separate, it looks like. All right, get most of it out. Put this down. Most of it's drained as well. Okay, go ahead and wipe this off. Wipe out the remaining resin. Now is also a good time for me to check the film to make sure. There's, there's a little bit of a print of some hardened resin at the bottom. Yeah, that's good. Put that back in here. There we go. Got the build plate. All right, so here's the build plate of the uh, Mini Cubic Photon. Mine has a few scratches on it, which is not great. So let's see what it says. It says, clean uh, before installing. I put it, everything in place without removing the backing. See if everything lines correctly. That looks perfect. It looks perfect as well. This little tab though, let's make sure that fits in the reservoir. Clean my build plate thoroughly, this is the most important part, scrub in alcohol bath, wipe dry. Turn the basement lights all the way up. There we go. Once the bed is perfectly clean, time to apply my magnetic base. It is a good match. Peel back a one inch 
grip on the back of the paper. So you're only supposed to be pull it back about an inch. She did so right there, about an inch. And then line it up at the edge. It's lined up, so just peel back the adhesive as I go. Make sure it stays aligned. I mean, I just put them with my fingers on each edge like this. This is a pretty thick magnetic pad, so that's pretty much keeping it in a line right there. And this edge is lined up as well perfectly. Peel back a little bit more. Keep pressing down, even pressure, a little bit more. Then voila, to the end. It's like a tiny, like a slight, it's like half a millimeter of overhang on that side. So it says here that it will take a uh, best practice to let it 72 hours for maximum adhesion. That's a long time, it's about three days. 24 hours gets you about 90% of ultimate adhesion. Now let's place our magnetic plate, our plate on here. Put it on up, uh, it's this way. Oh man, it's secure. So now I gotta re level my printer. So I'm gonna put this on here. Okay, that's loose now. Stop to just shy at the bottom. <sighs> okay. So home is not detecting. So the issue is, is that this Z stop, which is this uh, little metal piece right here, that's the trigger that activates the op optical sensor on the back of the printer. This little tab inserts itself, breaking the optical sensor, which indicates the, uh, the home location. So because of the added thickness of the build plate, I need to add about uh, 2.6 millimeters to lower this down below where it was previously right there. I do have some locking nuts and some washers, so I think. Try some locking nuts, those tend to be a little bit thicker, and those are, should be, yeah, those are fit in there, right, the, right diameter. If you look closely, I got two sets of locking washers between the, uh, the indicator thing that breaks the, the optical sensor and where it mounts to, and I got it on the real tight. So hopefully that will interdict the uh, sensor right there at the appropriate time. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Perfect. Beautiful. All right, round two. I got to fix the spacer for the Z, tested it out, re-leveled the bed. Let's go ahead and stick the bat back in real quick. So this should work this time. <laughs> Perfect. Go ahead and uh, check back in about eight minutes. See you then. All right, looks like the print is done. I think I can see, it looks like it came out. It's fine. And then you see the print there. It looks like it's looking very really good. So the test is, is whether or not we can take this off the build plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, there we go. Magnet came right off. So let's go through a wash cycle. Okay, got the wash units. Move that plate. There we go. Put this in right there. Wash mode. Um, looks like it's six minutes. I'll let that go. See you in, in six minutes. All right, looks like the wash cycle is complete. Go and switch over. Uh, platform. So here's the model that I printed. You see there's on the flexible build plate. A super flat model. This would normally be very difficult to remove. So I, it's printed, I washed it. Um, let's go ahead and cure it. And then once it's cured, we'll see how easy it snaps off. All right, set it on the plate. Let's put the uh, hood back on. And we'll come back in six minutes. Oh yeah, that feels good, that feels hard. So we should be able to snap it off now. Oh yeah, there it goes. So a little, look at this. A little snap, a little twist. Uh, I'll just kind of flip this. See if I can pull it up now. Not fully cured. 
here. Sorry. Right. There it goes. Boom. There it is. This would have been incredibly difficult to remove if it was not for the flex flexible build plate. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. I just want to remind everybody that this was the Wham Bam Flexible Build System. The website is here for your reference. I highly recommend this uh, flexible build system. Uh, I'm getting better performance out of this resin printer than I've ever gotten before because of this. It is fantastic. Um, so again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like 